Hi everyone, this is Wally. Wanted to uh, get back with you guys. Um, as you probably know, I've been doing a lot of mobile stuff over the last year, 18 months, and um, came across a, you know, an, an interesting intersection of uh, technologies. Um, you know, ASP.NET Web Forms, it's kind of considered, you know, it's, it's kind of like your father's Oldsmobile. There's no other way around it. It's, it's considered to be your father's Oldsmobile. It works. It gets the job done. It's not considered cool and sexy. And, you know, as we all know, mobile is cool and sexy. So I started thinking about this and I said, you know, what are the issues that people would have? You know, why would they, you know, why would they have problems if they tried to run a web application that they had written in uh, web forms and run it on mobile? And, you know, aside from the obvious, which is a mobile application really, you know, needs to be designed with the user interface from a ground up. Yeah, it'll scale down all that, but you really don't want to do that. That's, it's a really horrible experience for the user. And it really doesn't take advantage of some of the features that are out there on the uh, um, mobile devices. So I went and, you know, did a little work and, you know, found that web for ASP.NET 4 web forms, you know, can do mobile. It's it's not a really bad environment for it. So let's um, take a look at uh, some things. And yes, after uh, doing this and showing it to a few people, there was a little bit of shock out there that yes, web forms can do mobile. So you know, I built a couple of I, I built a single web application in ASP.NET for web forms. And you know, spent a lot of time optimizing it for um, iPhone, and then you know, saw that hey, it works you know just as well in Android. And here you've got a couple of screenshots for this. Um, what this application is, you're familiar, I'm sure, with Foursquare, Facebook Places, those kind of applications. So that's what this application does. It takes a you know where the user is currently located at, and you know then proceeds to provide them with some information. Uh, you know about what's what's in the air, where might they be? So um, a couple, there were a couple of issues that I that I had to overcome, and I want to I want to talk about them before we look in at the code. Uh, first off, um, view state. View state is obviously a big deal. You're in a mobile environment. This is not a you know hundred megabyte, hundred megabit, or one gigabit you know network connection between you and your server. I mean, this is a not guaranteed to be the most reliable connection uh, between you and your client uh, browser network. I mean, that's just the way it is. And so, the more you, the more you transfer across that wire, the more, the higher the likelihood of something bad happening. So, how did I handle view state? Um, literally, I sat there and I kept that on the server, and it worked. Um, the next thing I did, I looked at, is if you look at how the browsers work, and if you talk to designers who are building web applications that run mobile, they don't do tables. That's a big deal. Um, and so, you know, I looked at the controls, and you looked at like the, you know, the the grid view, you know, in ASP.NET, and it generates tables, and that's bad. So I started thinking, okay, how can I generate repeated information without tables? And, you know, bing, the light went off, and I said, hey, the list view. The list view gives me a lot of control, so I could do that. Next issue I ran into, or it, it was something I started seeing, is I started reading about everybody who was doing, you know, mobile web applications. Um, they're all doing a lot of AJAX, and they're, you know, pulling the data back, and they're not presenting the user with a screen flash. Um, and I really didn't think about how important that was. I just said, how could I do this in a web forms environment? So I used the update panel. And I started, you know, I showed this application to some users. And they were like, wow, this is like a native app. This is a native application. This is awesome. And I couldn't understand really why. And I asked a couple, I was like, why would you think this is a native application? And they're like, well, the screen doesn't flash. And that was like a big deal to them. And I was like, wow, I, you know, I'd never thought of that. But using the update panel, um, and I violate one of my rules here, which is don't put all your controls inside the update panel. Sorry, folks, I did that here. Um, it actually seemed to work real well with the users. 
I'm sure there's some more optimization I can do, so don't take this as the be-all, end-all. Um, the next issue I ran into was how am I going to integrate this with JavaScript? Um, you know, and how do the client IDs work, and how, how's all that going to work? And so I just used, I set it to the client IDs to static, and was able to do the necessary integration. Specifically, what I did was said, okay, how's a web application going to get the current location? And that's exposed in uh, WebKit as it exists on iPhone and Android. So I was able to get that information back. Then I stored it into a couple of hidden fields, and bang, there it was. Next issue I ran into was well, I got a lot of data going across the wire, so I did a bunch of optimization work. And one of the biggest things I found was, um, you know, you need to be careful about what you're deploying. You need to make sure that everything is set and release. So, you know, that's one of those things that's a hang-up. And then the last thing I looked at is, okay, how can I get a, a iPhone-type user interface and have that over the mobile web? So I looked at iWeb. I looked for several, and finally ended up using iWebKit. Uh, this this example doesn't have like jQuery mobile, the you know, the jQuery family types of you know, JavaScript libraries. So um, you know that's not there. So I just used some iWebKit mobile, or I'm sorry, iWebKit, and that seemed to work pretty well. And just a couple of screenshots here on my user interface. You can see uh, a couple of them. You know, on the left hand side, I've got a list. You know, here's some places where I've been. I can select one of them. You know, bang! I can get a, um, you know, a, some information, and then you know where was that place located at. So, hope this helps out. Now, on the second part of this, I'm going to dive into the code, and we'll take a look at that. So, thanks.